Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the error code 0x8024-2022 when installing Xbox games on your Windows computer. It says that something unexpected happened. Reporting this problem will help us understand it better. You can wait a bit and try again or restart your device. That may help. Error code 0x8024-2020. So it should be a pretty straightforward process here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be just to restart your computer. So just go ahead and actually restart your device here. And now that we are back into Windows, go ahead and actually open up the search menu. Type in storage. Best match to come back with storage settings. Go ahead and open that up. And over on the right side, you want to go ahead and expand more settings or go down to advanced storage settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Select where new content is saved. And where it says new apps will save to, click on the drop down. If you have a games folder, for example, and you want to install games to a different drive that might not exist anymore, it's possible that that was what the issue was with your Xbox games. You may want to consider saving them to a different drive if you have one for that purpose. Like you have a secondary hard drive for games and other files, like backup stuff, for example. You might want to consider adding it down here or maybe it's it's currently being saved in the wrong drive and you want to switch it back to a different drive you can do that right through here and something else I want to try as well would be to open up the search menu and type in Xbox on the right side select versus app settings and then on the right side scroll down underneath reset if the app isn't working right we can try and repair the apps that won't be affected select repair I would restart your computer and see if you're still having the problem. If you are, you can try resetting the application. The apps data will be deleted, so select reset. This will permanently delete the apps data on this device, including your preferences and sign in details. Select reset. And you will need to go ahead and actually restart your computer here, so go ahead and do that. And then hopefully your issue should have been resolved at this point. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.